when I ran for president, we talked about the need to create a political revolution. We talked about the need for working people and young people to get involved in the political process, to stand up and fight back. And man, what I am seeing in Chicago right now is you are doing exactly that. Thank you very much. In, in case you didn't know it, the establishment of Chicago knows that you are here and they are getting nervous. So thank you all for expanding that political revolution right here in Illinois. Now, I am here this afternoon not because Chewy Garcia is a friend of mine, although he is a good friend of mine. And I'm not here because he ran a great campaign for mayor in which he brought the people together and ran a grassroots campaign, but I'm not here for that reason. And I am not here because he supported me for president, although I appreciate that very much. I am here this afternoon because we are living in a pivotal moment in American history. We need strong, progressive voices in Washington, and Chewy Garcia will be that voice. This is an unprecedented moment in American history. And the future of this country, and in fact, the future of the world, and the future of our children and our grandchildren depends upon what you do, and what you do, and what you do. And one of the important things <clears throat> that we can do in the next few weeks is to make sure not only that Chewy Garcia wins, but that he wins big. I know that people get discouraged about what they see every day. And their hearts ache when they see the kind of person we have in the White House. But what I want to beg of you, what I want to beg of you is to understand that despair is not an option. It is not good enough to say I'm sick and tired and I'm disgusted and I'm not going to get involved. This moment, this danger to our country today calls upon all of us to be more involved in every way than we have ever been before. And if you can send Chewy Garcia to the Congress, and if you can send the other wonderful young progressive people who are running with them to the offices that they are seeking, the word will go out all across this country that the American people are taking back our government. So brothers and sisters, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for standing up for America. And thanks for demanding and fighting for a government that represents all of us, not just the 1%. Thank you very much.